I'm just making a quick video to explain how stripper clip ejection works on clip loaded rifles because it works in a way that a lot of people don't seem to realize that it does. And what prompted me to do this was I saw an animation recently, hand drawn animation, of someone reloading a rifle with stripper clips and then flicking the clip out with their thumb. Now, this was on a 1903 Springfield, and that got me thinking that that's not how it works, but I could kind of understand why people think that that's how it works if you've never actually handled one. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate how it actually works using a rifle that does automatically eject clips and explain how that works. And then I'm going to show examples of rifles that don't automatically eject clips and explain why that happens, but also some tricks on how you can actually reload these faster. So the first thing to understand is how the clip and the rifle interact together because they are a system and both parts have to be doing their job to do it properly. Now, if you look on a stripper clip, this is a clip full of 6.5 Swedish dummies, and this is a clip specifically designed for them. See these two little nubs on both sides of the clip, and you might be thinking, well, that's that for, well, that is, if I can take that off safe, for these clip guides that are on the receiver bridge. Now this is the 96 Mauser, whoops, had a round pop out of the clip. Um, but it works similarly for other guns that load via clips like this. Um, the Nitro 3 Springfield is the same way. Lee Enfields are actually, actually also um, work the same way. Now, if you look at the clip guides and I get the right light in there, you'll see they are not perfectly up and down. If I can get a cartridge, I can point to it. Right there, you see that it's actually an incline. It's perfectly up and down in the back, but not at the front. And there's a reason for that. And that reason is, is when you put the clip in the rifle, you'll see that the clip guides hold the clip in place so that it's properly positioned for feeding. And when you strip the rounds out, just like that, now the clip is sitting there by itself. And when you push the bolt forward, the clip gets pushed against that incline and the way the forces work is then that wants to push the clip up and out of the gun. So all you need to do at this point is to give the bolt handle a good nudge forward and the clip gets pushed up and forward and then just falls out of the gun. It works exactly the same way on other Mauser type rifles, 1903s, 1917s, Car 98s, whatever. They all work the same way. And just to show the alternative, this is my M91 Mosin the Gaunt, and you can see on this gun, i to make sure not to hit anything in my room, that the clip guides are perfectly up and down. If you try and smack the bolt forward on this, the clip is just gonna be pushed against the walls there, and it's not coming out. You actually have to do something to pull it out. Now, what you can do is exactly what I saw in that animation. If you take a clip, fix it in the rifle and reload, what you can do, now your thumb is already in there and it's pushing the cartridges down. You just make sure that it's under the clip and you can flick it out that way and reload the rifle and keep on going. That is a trick you can do. And I'm gonna show you on a rifle now that does that a whole lot more elegantly. So here I have a Swiss K31 rifle and this is in sort of the same situation that the Mosin is in, is when you load this, you load it from the top and you stick the charger or the clip, whatever you want to call it, just right down into the rifle and it sits there. So here's a reproduction clip, holds six rounds. And you sit it in there, and then you take your thumb, just push the rounds in there. You try to then kick it out with the bolt, nothing doing. It's not going to want to do that. So what you can do in the K31 is pretty similar to what you can do in the Mosin. After you have stripped the rounds out, Make sure that they're all the way down in there. Then you just take your thumb and kick the clip out this way and load the gun. Show it again without slowing down. In, down, flick, fire. Easy as that. And just because I like doing it, here's the same thing on a K11. Older gun, but same idea, except the ejection port is just a little bit smaller.
There we go. Nice and easy. So there you go. An explanation on rifles that automatically eject their clips and you don't have to do anything. And rifles that don't, but there is something you can do about it. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Take care.